I'm Steve Cook, I'm Director of Performing Arts College at Thornby High School and we've just been rehearsing our boys choir, NFG, they're called Not For Girls. The choir is a specifically boys choir which we start as part of our choir programme at school. We have five choirs including kind of gospel choir, senior choirs, uni choir and we wanted to do something to encourage boys to sing a little bit more frequently and a bit more high profile so we designed this programme specifically to kind of raise the focus on boys singing. Well, our schools are performing arts college, so we do a lot of work to kind of move things forward a little bit, and we have always had a lot of singing at our school. So we thought we'd dream of this programme just so the boys had a vehicle just to perform themselves, try out music which is a bit more to their taste maybe, away from the girls in a kind of a safer environment. And we tend to rehearse slightly more infrequently than we do with, with the other choirs, because we know a lot of our lads are involved in sport, we have a big sports programme at our school, so we tend to do an, an odd lunchtime here and there, and a few afternoon workshops which involve primary schools. Well, it's led by Mr Cook, and um, there's about, I think there's about um, 15 boys in it, and um, we like to sing, we kind of sing upbeat stuff. Kind of like, just like modern music, and we do a bit of rock and stuff, but it's not really like what you might think a typical choir would be. It's not a traditional choir where we sing like dead ba ballads and stuff, it's more of a modern rock, like pop kind of music, it's more like the lads are age would be into at the minute. If people saw this they'd, they'd be surprised and they might be, uh, they, they might want to join because it, it's stuff that people want to sing. They're actually taking it on quite well. We've got between 15 and 18 lads on a kind of a regular basis and they range from some of the sixth form students right down to kind of year eight student that is our youngest at the minute. We're about to open it to year seven and maybe a floodgate might open because they do a lot of high profile performing in school so a lot of the lads around school know what they do at the minute. Well then there's a lot of like lads in it obviously and um, we have a laugh together so it's not, it's not just about singing, it's about having fun and then um, like I said, having a laugh. But I mean, the singing's good as well. I mean, you, we get a great sound, but it's all about having fun. It's fun because you've always, it's like a social thing as well because you've got like friends around you that you can like joke around with, and when you go into places, you can have fun. I think it's quite good because you get like all different types of voices and stuff, and it's good like harmonising because you get like the deep voice and then you get high voices, and when you mix it together, it all sounds really good. And like when you're on like in a show or something you don't feel like alone type of thing it's like you've got someone to fall back like friends backing you up and you don't feel like you're like being watched well i think plus things for me if you did get something wrong then it wouldn't matter too much and you just get to mix with other other voices so it, I, I think it really sounds good because there's all different types of voices. There is a bit more of a boisterous attitude in rehearsals and they do find it a bit more kind of comforting maybe because it is only the lads and they're not worrying about the kind of is my voice breaking, is it not breaking, am I kind of squeaking a little bit for those, those kind of middle years lads so they do find it a bit more sort of comforting and more of a friendship group as well and they have kind of bonded quite well and also they like the whole role model idea with some of the sixth form who kind of got great voices and kind of, kind of budding rock stars singing with them. Today we've just like came for a, a practice of the, the songs that we're going to perform in concerts or have performed in the concerts just to get a bit more of a, you know, just a practice to make it better. There's some people with, with higher voices that haven't broke yet and people with lower voices that have broke. And the, the stuff we sing is like tr tr traditional stuff which is like out in the charts now. I've been singing quite about three months now and um, I joined just because um, I thought it would be a good idea and it sounded like my kind of music that I like because I like singing quite a lot. I'm a tenor but I can go like quite high and stuff so um, I sing the high parts because like some of the lads are like lower parts, so I sing the high parts. I've sang solo a few times as well which I enjoy but it's all about making a good sound with the rest of the group. I'm an alto so we kind of sing the tune of things and then the other people um, like tenors and sopranos, they'll sing, sing kind of in and out of that, so it'll be, so it'll sound really good. I would say definitely have a go and 
market it for the boys who are kind of a, a bit more individual, particularly the boys who play and sing in rock bands. You know, because a lot all these kids play or, or sing in some sort of band outside of school, and that's what we targeted and look for repertoire that kind of fits that. Makes you more confident and brings everything out inside you, and everything, and you get into it and stuff. You start singing louder, and when you sing louder, you sing better. But you might, like me, you might be too scared to sing in front of other people. Because, like, if someone goes, I'll oh, sing then to see what you sound like, and you're sort of like, well, I don't really want to because I'm a bit shy. And then, like, if you, when you go and sing in a group, you're not afraid to do it anymore. Well, I only know if they can sing or not if they've tried. So they should come along to the choir and see if they enjoy it, which is the most important bit. And then, if they think they're good, they should just carry on because it'll, it'll add to the sound of the choir. Forget about what you mates say, just like, Go on, go on a choir, have a go, and if you don't like it, then like say, oh no, I'm not going. People who do like drama and performing arts, um, they should join a choir because like, there's like, the voices would work well, and we need like, a lot of people to get powerful and loud. So, yeah. And just see whether, like, if you like it and singing with other people, you get more confident, and then the, if you've got a voice inside you, that might sort of come out because you're not quite as shy. Singing as well. I would say like it's not like at all like something to do with just girls or anything because boys can sing just as well as girls. And I think it's good to have a mix of kind of sport and singing and mix mix up you having fun in different things. If people are unsure whether to come, they, they might think that it's like not cool, but it is really because it's like a bunch of lads and it's it's hardly gay. Um, so even if like you're a bit worried about what it's like just go along and like ask other people that are in it about it and they'll like help you out and stuff and tell you what it's about when boys listen to songs they listen they don't just listen to songs that girls are sung and then when they go and tell other people that it's girly to sing well what do they think they listen to they listen to quite a lot of boys singing in bands so they had to get there somehow and you get there through singing